doing today is we're really just doing a super quick video on how this live well works the pros and the cons of it so if you're looking to get a fish pro in 2023 I need to let you know that there are some really good things about it and there is one absolutely terrible thing about it so stay tuned let's have a look you we that's exactly what we came for today Oh my goodness. I don't have a very good grip here, but that hook is in nice. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Nice slapper. You. Ah, uh, now we get to test out the live well. Let's set up our live well. Boom. I'm trying to empty the water out of my live wheel right now, and the only way to do it is reach over the back and unscrew it. It's the biggest pain in the butt. The only downside of what this craft can do. That's it. Everything else is amazing, but this needs to be changed. See you, dude. Fix it. Only way to do it. So, if this was rough weather, this would not be fun. So this is what goes into it through the esky, and that's where the water level of the esky goes, and then goes down in the live well, and then out to the sea to make sure it keeps that balance, so it doesn't overflow when you've got it running. Only issue is, yeah, it needs like a plug here, or something like can pull out, pull out, pull back in. I'm not sure, I might modify it, so I don't ever have to do this again, because it's actually a pain in the bum. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't imagine what it would be like if the wind was even twice as bad. This is just not a good system. So, see you do, we need to fix that. Um, but I'm gonna probably do a modification to this uh, cooler. Esky, I just wanted to do was empty out my live well, mainly because when I'm out here, the seas are a little bit rougher at the moment, and it's just really dragging down, putting a lot of weight in the back there. So, I had to adjust my trim, but every time I hit a decent wave, I can still feel it. So. Emptied out all the water, so that's all gone. 